Well, what's up, guys? Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to recalibrate the hands on any Swiss made chronograph watch. Okay, so as you can see, the second hand of the chronograph feature right here is not aligned with the two arrows um, centered at 12 o'clock, and that it needs to be calibrated. You can tell the bottom, the right hand, I mean the left hand subdial, the bottom for you guys, is slightly off the center, as well as the bottom subdial, or the right subdial from where you're looking at. Now I'm going to be showing you how, you how to fix this. It's actually quite simple and it'll save you a few dollars from having to go to your watch store and basically they're just going to be doing this. It's really simple. So, you know if, you probably know if, um, what position your watch is, watch's crown has. Position one is pushed all the way in. Position two is pushed out so you can set the date. And position three is pushed out, pulled all the way out actually, so you can set the time. Now if it's a screw down crown, just go ahead and screw it down. Mine is, so I'm just going to unscrew it. Okay, now I'm going to pull it out to position 1. As you can see, I'm setting the date right now. You might be able to see that change. Now I'm going to pull it out to position 2. I mean position 3. And everything should have done a little reset. Now what we're going to do, we are going to hold the top pusher and the bottom pusher down pull them down until everything does a clean spin. Now you're set to recalibrate your second hand. So you're going to push the top pusher as many times as you want until you have it centered. So let's say you can go all the way around by holding it, push it again, and now it's centered. Now to do the bottom subdial, we're going to hit the bottom pusher. That'll select that subdial. Now we can get through and set where exactly we think it should be. So I'm going to go ahead and set it about there. So it's set all the way. Now to set this subdial right there, we're going to hit this one once more. And we're going to pretty straightforward select it and where exactly we want it to. When we're done, we can go ahead and push our crown down. I'm going to go ahead and screw mine up. There we go. I'm going to screw it up, and then there we go. So it's all calibrated. So let me show you the stopwatch feature. I'm going to push it, top pusher. It'll start, and I'm going to show you guys usually um, how all of the subdials, well, at least these, the second hand and that one, for this demonstration, reset in an um, in a very precise order. Order. All right. So as you can see, the stopwatch feature has gone around just over a minute, and I'm going to stop it by using the top pusher. And then when I reset it, that subdial and the second hand will reset all the way to the exact top. So this can work on any Swiss-made watch. Uh, I definitely do recommend doing this if your hands are not calibrated. Now, this can happen if for if you use this feature a lot, they'll get a slightly decalibrated. And this is a very easy way to calibrate them back up. So, my watch right here, in case anybody's interested, is the Wenger Aerograph. This is a diver's watch, so it has the little extension um, for diving right here done a review on this, so I'll put the link to this watch in the description if you, if anybody's interested. Uh, it's a very high quality, very durable watch. So thanks for watching. Make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe for more tutorials on watches and technology and whatnot. Also, check out the website that I write for at www.techinform.us. Also, if you will, follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash Again, that's A-B-N-E-R-C-U-S. 
I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.